Hey guys, today we'll take a look at DJI Flight Simulator. So I just noticed that DJI has released a flight simulator, which basically allows you now fly on your computer virtually and train uh, without bringing a real drone outside. And the cool part about this, you can use a real DJI controller from your drone, you can use a gamepad and even a PC keyboard. Well, I tried to use the controller previously and it did not work, at least the last time I tried it. And I couldn't even find a manual for this uh, simulator, so I think it's... Uh, it was released only today, so we might need an update and something uh, more. I tried to install uh, DJ Assistant. It shows that that my remote is connected, but it does not do anything. So for now, we will use keyboard and just a regular Xbox controller. And we can select from the all range of DJI drones. I think that's pretty cool because you can uh, basically try the drone even before buying it. Or actually practice flying without uh, owning a drone. And there are free flights some, uh, and some game modes. So let's maybe try time trial. So basically the same procedure to run the drone, even if we are flying from a keyboard. And I can control it like fully with a keyboard or even better with a, with a Xbox controller. And uh, at least for now, I couldn't find any gamepad settings, so I cannot adjust the sensitivity or remap controls. But and the default settings, I, I didn't uh, like that much. But it's the only thing that currently works in this version. So yeah, it, uh, the control 3 uh, remind me flying a real uh, DJ Mavic and if I could get a controller to work, I think it would be even more realistic. But I like the, the game physics and the flight physics, I guess. I think DJ did a pretty good job.
and it's a totally like the first version like you can see it's super laggy and like uh, super just weird like a lot of bugs and for example i cannot even harm the drone from the gamepad only keyboard works and after i got it arm i can use continue to use the xbox controller And the sensitivity is way too high for Xbox controller. Or I guess the sticks are very short on a gamepad compared to a real RC <laughs> remote. <laughs> uh, so it, it uh, looks very sensitive. Okay, I, I guess we might, uh, we could try another drone. And again, super, uh, uh, like super unresponsive and slow. Bigger drone. Yep, inspired. This perfect charge. And we can uh, try maybe tunnel around uh, this time. I can definitely feel that the controls on Inspire are different from a Mavic like uh, like flying real drones. <laughs> and these are not <laughs> checkpoint rings but uh, something totally different. So I should be more careful this time. Pretty addictive to, uh, <laughs> to get part, uh, to try to beat this track. Okay, maybe one last time. Yeah, and if you know uh, 
how to get the controller working, you can leave a comment below because I couldn't figure it out. Same for uh, mapping different co uh, controls on a gamepad. Okay, so this is like uh, flying from a third uh, person view, more like a view thing. But if you consider like the <laughs> the racing uh, uh, the racing tiles are uh, like flying from a, uh, from a phone screen. Oh, maybe I know. Maybe I should try to connect the phone to the gamepad and and then connect it to the PC. And uh, I think it, it's flying in some strange uh, mode because the DJI drone should hold uh, position by its own, but it does not do that in this. We could try and check controls. So you can see we have all these uh, controllers, keyboard, and control. Okay, so see. Oh, this, this is pretty cool. We can fly using. I think there is a roof uh, above us, so this is the reason why we crashed. This is really a nice uh, exercise to practice uh, flying if we could get that controller working. And I think we can we can try change mode. <laughs> okay. We probably should not do that in real life. But um, okay, let's try automatic return to go. This is, this is a perfect example of the DJI product and why you should try train on a simulator before, before using functions like return to home because this is exactly what the Inspire would do if you would fly in a city, fly around the building and you are standing somewhere uh, behind this building and Inspire does not have any sensors and it will simply fly straight into the wall if the building is higher than the uh, set return, uh, and, uh, return height. And there are plenty of YouTube videos 
We have DJI drones just smashes into buildings and mountains because of exactly this, but uh, not even a pilot error, but we simply people do not know how how to use this uh, settings because there was no there are no training uh, for these drones. There was no training until now. And actually, uh, you can see that it, it even simulates the battery time and uh, signal strength. And there are, I guess, virtual uh, walls you cannot fly just anywhere. Like there is a virtual wall. There should be some gimbal controls, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to use it. Let's try to turn on one more time, just for fun. So now we are high enough above the buildings and in theory it should work. Unless the person is standing under the roof and it might be another challenge. So sadly, I don't know which, uh, how to turn the gimbal uh, down. Okay, so uh, now I guess we are stuck. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, for today, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and see you in the next one. And yeah, if you know how to connect the controller, please leave a comment below.